Tim Randall, Martin, good to see you there. Um, you Thank said you. back in July that you were confident of, achieve, of achieving a reasonable outcome for the uh, fiscal year. Is this proof profit before tax is lower than last year? Um, yes, I think we have to choose our words carefully with uh, 11 months of the financial year to go, 10 or 11 months of the financial year to go. Uh, a reasonable outcome uh, in the current environment is about the best we would be able to predict given all the circumstances. Well, what are those circumstances? Uh, presumably uh, you're talking about costs and inflation because costs are rising for food, their costs are rising for electricity, for staff. Are you able to pass on those costs to consumers at the moment or are you able to absorb them? That's the dilemma, I think, for a lot of businesses. As you've said, costs are increasing quite sharply. Customers' incomes aren't increasing. Uh, there's a squeeze, and uh, it's very difficult to pass price, price rises on to customers. But uh, with a judicious uh, attempt, uh, small price rises will be accepted, and you've just got to have good marketing, good standards. What's the biggest danger, do you think, to the pub industry right now in the UK? Is it, is it supermarkets? I think the biggest danger is the tax system. It, pubs have been used of, as milch cows over the years to produce income from the government. Uh, we're paying over 40% of our sales as tax of one type or another. It's far lower for supermarkets. I don't think that's a sustainable proposition. If the country want, wants pubs and the jobs created by them, and we, we've created nearly 3,000 jobs in the last year alone, I don't think it can go on sticking up the taxes on pubs. It's interesting about how you've been expanding, pretty relentless expansion over quite some time, and you did have plans earlier in the year to open more pubs. Now, given the financial situation in Britain, people are talking about a global recession. Are you looking at those expansion plans again? Do you think, you know what, well, maybe the time is right at the moment to hang back a bit? Well, we increased our like-for-like -like sales by 2% in spite of the issues which we've mentioned, and our profits before interest were up by 2%, but we had a refinancing, so we pay higher interest charges to the banks now. So the underlying picture is that Weatherspoon's done pretty well. It would be a shame not to continue to expand when uh, we're one of the best pub businesses out there. So for now, we're saying uh, we're going to continue. Property prices are a lot better than they were a few years ago, so we'd like to take advantage. Tim Martin, founder, chairman of J.D. Weatherspoons. Thank you very much. Thank you.